All right, the, the Charlottesville Municipal Band is uh, celebrating its 89th anniversary. The band was founded in 1922 by a, a couple of businessmen who uh, were kind of despondent over the fact that uh, when uh, the University of Virginia was given the medical school at UVA, when the president came back from Richmond, uh, there was no band or, or any kind of way to, to, to celebrate. So um, they, uh, they started a community band um, and brought in a, a professional to direct the group. Um, it's been a voluntary uh, organization for its entire uh, 89 years. When it first started, it was an all-male organization back in 1922. Everything was, was that way. Uh, in uh, the late 50s, uh, early 60s, uh, Sharon Hoos, who was the director at the time, uh, brought women into the band. And, and now uh, the band is a, a great mix, uh, probably 50-50 uh, men and women. Um, at 89 years old, the, the band's one of the older, uh, regular, rehearsing municipal bands in the United States. There are certainly bands that are, are much older, uh, but uh, our, our group has been continually active since 1922. Um, as far as my background as music director, uh, I've been directing bands since 1977. I started out directing middle school band. I was the band director at Walton Middle School for eight years, and uh, then um, went to Western Alkmaar High School, where I was the band director for 23 years. So I've got 31 years of public uh, public school band experience. Uh, been in this band since 1977, and uh, I've been the I was the assistant director from uh, the mid 80s, uh, while Jim Simmons was the uh, director, uh, and then. Uh, was selected by the board of directors to, to lead the band back in 2007 when Jim retired. So uh, uh, it's kind of a natural thing for me to do. Um, I retired from public school teaching in 2008, and uh, so instead of working with high school kids, uh, you know, every day I, I get to work with adults uh, once a week. So uh, it's, uh, it's it's a fun thing to do. You know, it, it's more a labor of love than than a labor. You know, I. I enjoy coming to rehearsal community. Um, this concert season, uh, we'll be playing 13 or 14 performances with the large group. The band has approximately 80 people in it. And uh, we uh, start out with the spring concert, um, then we do our six summer concerts at the Paramount Theater in downtown Charlottesville. Uh, we'll also play on the 4th of July at uh, uh, Monticello. Uh, we're going to be playing in uh, June for uh, Flag Day. We have a, a, a special uh, community band festival, which we'll talk about in a few minutes, on July 2nd. Then um, we do a, a fall concert and a uh, winter concert, and also play at Piedmont Virginia Community College's graduation. So we're one of the busier community or community bands uh, in the United States. Not, not many bands do as many performances as we do. Um, we do a little bit of everything. Um, we do uh, transcriptions of orchestral pieces. We do, of course, marches, everything from Sousa marches to contemporary marches. Uh, we do a lot of movie music, Broadway music, um, rock and roll, pop, jazz, uh, a little bit of everything. Uh, one of the things that I, that I think I'm uh, proudest of uh, the, the band is their ability to handle a variety of styles. Uh, we do uh, everything from um, patriotic things uh, that we play fairly regularly for things at Monticello uh, to to some of the most contemporary and, and newest of, of band pieces. And, and the band does things well. Um, I'm very proud of the fact that, that they, they play with, a, with an attention to detail. Uh, kind of a little patriotic concert uh, at the Pavilion uh, on the 4th of July weekend. And this year uh, we went to the city and, and said, can we expand that and turn this into a, kind of a, a celebration of community bands? And uh, the uh, city fathers came back and said, yeah, that's a great idea, and, and we will support it. And uh, so right now, um, we have uh, seven community bands, 
as well as uh, uh, the uh, U.S. Army Reserve Band from Richmond going to play. Um, and the performance, uh, the Community Band Festival is going to be on Saturday, July 2nd. It will run from uh, 11.30 in the morning till about uh, 8 at night. Uh, each band will play for about 45 minutes and then we'll reset the stage and then another band will come on. Um, we've told the bands to, uh, to kind of make it an Americana or patriotic theme, but, but uh, you're going to hear a variety of uh, band music that day. And it's going to be a really great day for families. Uh, it's free. So you can bring the family, you can come down, bring a blanket or a chair, and um, sit at the pavilion, listen to some music. Uh, we think there are going to be some vendors uh, for food, and uh, we're hoping that there are even going to be some, some uh, folks that will be doing face painting and, and some kid kinds of activities. So it's really kind of an old-fashioned uh, Fourth of July holiday band concert only. It's going to last the entire day. I have a Facebook page, as just about everybody else does uh, in the world, and uh, also uh, some of our recordings uh, from past concerts are available on a YouTube page, and all of this can be reached from our webpage, which is seavilleband.org. It uh, has a theme of stage and screen, so uh, all of the pieces that we'll be playing that night, with the exception of uh, two of the marches, are either uh, from Broadway, shows, uh, from, from stage plays, from uh, musicals, uh, or from musical reviews, so, uh, uh, or a movie. Uh, we're going to open with the march from the movie 1941, and uh, the, the tailpiece on the concert will be uh, music from uh, the Broadway show Evita. So uh, it'll be a real fun concert, I think, for people to come to. A flute ensemble, a clarinet quartet, a saxophone ensemble a trombone ensemble, a uh, brass quintet, and uh, we've got some folks that would like to, to get a percussion ensemble started, so uh, we're, we're, we're really proud of our ensembles, a spring concert or the winter concert or the fall concert uh, or any of the summer programs that we do. These are all free, and it's a, a pretty cool thing to be able to go to the Paramount Theater where you might normally go to the Paramount Theater to see somebody and, and have to pay $25, $35, $45 for a ticket, uh, be able to uh, go and see the Charlottesville Municipal Band uh, at absolutely no charge. On a, and Tuesday evening in July when it's uh, 95 degrees outside, uh, it's uh, 72 in the Paramount and you get to hear great band music. The, the members of the band, uh, they all volunteer their services, uh, but it, running a uh, a large ensemble like this with all that we do uh, during the year is, is certainly uh, not a, a, a small task and we truly appreciate um, the funding that we receive from the city of Charlottesville and the county of Albemarle. The, we have funding that, that we receive from these, uh, these two organizations allow us to purchase music, allow us to uh, purchase instruments, um, pays for staff salaries, uh, and also uh, rental fees for, for places that, uh, that we play. The, of course, the other part of the equation is, is the support that we receive from lots of folks uh, out in the community. Um, we uh, don't do a formal or fancy fundraising activity, but what we do, um, each concert is include an envelope in our concert programs that, that allows folks to... Uh, if they see fit, make a contribution and in any amount that they see fit just to, to kind of uh, thank the ensemble for, for the performance and, and show their appreciation. And this, along with the, the funding that we receive from the city and the county, has allowed us to, to stay solvent and, and to grow as a group. So we're really thankful for all that support.